हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज आईजीसीएससी पेपर मई जून 2024 पेपर वन वन सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी डिड क्वेश्चंस वन टू फिफ्टीन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डू द नेक्स्ट वन सो आई होप यू गाइस आर गेटिंग बेनिफिट फ्रॉम माय वीडियोस सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स दैट विल बी अ ग्रेट हेल्प so now let's start number 16 we have this diagram the diagram shows a rectangle with length and width of this find an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle now what is perimeter perimeter is uh, sum of the squares of uh, uh, sorry sum of the uh, length of all the sides so if this is 6.7 this side is also 6.7 and this is going to be 3x minus 12 so perimeter is 2 into length plus width right twice of length length is 3x minus 12 width is x plus 7 so this is going to be 3 that is 4x 12 minus 7 uh, this is going to be 5 so we can leave here or you can even expand 4 times to 8x minus 10 so 8x minus 10 this is the expression for the perimeter now number 17 the diagram shows a circle uh, p lies on the circle write down the mathematical name of ap of op this is radius very clear radius is a line that joins center and other point is on the circumference draw a tangent at point p so draw uh, put your ruler here at point p and then draw a line that touches only at point p right now Number eighteen. Find the greatest odd number that is a factor of one forty and two hundred and ten. We will take one forty and two hundred and ten. So this can be splitted into uh, let's say ten times fourteen. So then this is two times five, and this is two times seven. Similarly, here we have ten times twenty one. So this is two times five. and this is 7 times 3 right so odd numbers what are common odd numbers here 5 7 here also 5 7 so gct is going to be 5 times 7 which is 35 35 is the final answer right now calculate uh, square root of a uh, cube root of 343 uh, which is uh, 7 minus then this comes out to be 6.4 so final answer is 0. Six. So you are just going to plug in directly the values, right? Nothing else to do. Also, same. Just put all as it is. Then we get it one thousand and twenty-four. Now find the value of one hundred and thirty-seven power zero. So anything raised to power zero is one. So answer is one, right? Now find the value of p. As the exponents are same. Uh, sorry the base is same like here x m divided by x n then we always add the powers law of exponent uh, so this is going to be 7 power 12 minus p is equal to 7 power 17 so that is 12 minus p is equal to 17 so 12 minus 17 is equal to p so p is minus 5 p is minus 5 now calculate this one and give your answer in standard form now directly plug in all this in calculator and you are getting here this comes out to be 203 so now for this uh, our decimal is here right so we are moving it one two units to make it right in a standard form it will be 2.03 ten raised to power 2 so 2 times 0.3 ten raised to power 2 solve the simultaneous equation uh, you must show all your working uh, so to solve this let me uh, we are going to make uh, coefficient of either x or y same so here it's easy to make of y so i'm multiplying this by 2 so i'm rewriting uh, 6 times 2 it is 12 x uh, plus 4y equals to 29 times 2 is 58 then we have 3x minus 4y equals to 17 now you add all of them when you add this and this goes this is 15x when you add this this is 
So, from here x is 75 over 15, x is 5, x is 5. Now, we can substitute in any of these equations. So, 6 x plus 2 y equals to 29, x is now 5, you can take any of these two equations 29. So, 2 y is 29 minus 30 which is negative 1 and y will be negative 0 0.5. So, we are going to write down that in the space provided here 5 and negative 0 0.5. Now, number 23 uh, change 9.6 kilometer per hour into meter second. So, kilometer per hour uh, in 1 kilometer we have uh, sorry 9.6 times 1000 that will make it a meter per second over there is hour, hour is 1 hour 60 minutes 60 times 60 that will make it second. So, it will be meter per second. So, this 0 is gone, this 0 is gone. So, we have 9.6 times 9 is 96 over 36, divide it we will get 2.66 approximately 2.67 to 2 3 significant figures right. Now, number 24 there are first 5 terms of the sequence uh, here find an expression for uh, nth term. So, our nth term T n is A plus n minus 1 into D. So, as you see if you add 7 you are going to get the next term. So, that means our A is first term is 11 uh, and D is 7. Now, we will substitute all this here. So, to get the nth term 11 plus n minus 1 into 7. So, this is 11 plus 7 n minus 7. So, 7 n plus 4, 7 n plus 4 right. Now, number 25 uh, this is the last question I hope you guys are getting everything kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and I will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section about the feedback uh, your comments means a lot. So, kind of give your feedback for improvement also. Uh, so, now the question is the diagram shows the shape made from triangle JKL. We have this triangle here and semicircle uh, with diameter JL. Uh, these dimensions are given calculate the area of the shape. Area of the shape now is area of triangle plus area of uh, uh, we have to add this area, let us say this is area A B, area of this triangle plus area of the semicircle. Uh, so, first I will find out the area of uh, triangle, area of triangle is half times base, base is 12.8 times height, height is also 12.8, this is 12.8, this is 12.8. So, this comes out to be 18 1.92 centimeter square. Now, area of semicircle means half of the circle that is half pi r squared right half pi r r is uh, radius is half of 12.8 divided by 2 this is 6.4 that is the radius. Uh, so, 6.4 squared calculate this by plugging in the values we got 60. Uh, 4.33. Now, just the total area of the shape, area of the shape is going to be uh, 81.92 plus 64.33. So, this is uh, 146.25. If you write in 3 significant figure, it will be 146, right. Now, calculate the perimeter of the shape. The perimeter of the shape means we are going to have all this all around the shape right. So, let me just uh, use. So, we are going to take this length, then this one, uh, and this one. I do not know this is not working. Let me 
use the pen here. So, we are looking for this length the shaded one and then we need to have this one plus this right. So, this we can find out from this triangle as this is the right angle triangle. So, this is going to be hypotenuse right and this we already have j k and then we will find out this part curved that is the uh, perimeter of the semicircle. So, that is what I am going to do over here now. Uh, so, area of the triangle we have this j k l uh, from here uh, k l from here if you see k l k l square is going to be uh, let me write it down here k l square k l is going to be square root of 12.8 squared plus 12.8 squared just directly plug in and we get here 18.1 centimeter. So, you see k l k l we got this one with this we have already now a and this perimeter of the semicircle. So, perimeter of the semicircle uh, circumference of the semicircle circumference of semicircle is going to be half times 2 pi r. So, this 2 and 2 is gone pi r pi times r r is uh, 6.4. So, this comes out to be 20.1 centimeter. Now, we are going to have the perimeter total perimeter of the shape is going to 18.1 plus 12.8 plus 20.1 add all of these then we got here 51.0. So, 51.0 is the final answer right. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys understood everything. Let me know the in the comment section. Thank you so much. Be blessed guys.